Ba-dum, bump. Ba-dum, bump. Ba-dum, bump. Ba-dum, bump. Hey, it's Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 23 years. I'm going to give you realistic advice based on my experience. I don't know if it's going to rain today. I was going to go ride my bike and it is totally wet and but there's no clouds in the sky so I'm going to wait for the weather to change. So I'm going to do a video today. So here's the deal. Um, I just, I'm just talking now. I had a patient. I just got out of work. Uh, middle of the day I'm going to lunch and um, got a patient and asked me can a chiropractor break a neck and I thought actually no it's it's literally impossible to break the bones of the neck when you do an adjustment what you're doing is you're actually moving the joints is you're trying to coax the joints to move in a normal way so when you do an adjustment you're actually positioning the body in a way that it's supposed to move. And then with a little flick of the wrist, you actually can create a vacuum and it creates that noise, which is the cracking noise. And I told him, I said, you know, remember Christopher Reeve, the guy that played Superman? Well, he broke his neck. How did he break his neck? Through compression. The only way to break a neck bone would be to compress it. So you'd have to produce force on someone's head. So when Christopher Reeve uh, fell off the horse, which is a significant fall at a high speed from a very high distance, um, he actually landed on his head, which broke his neck. You have to compress, compress the uh, bones of the spine in order to fracture the actual bone material. When we're doing chiropractic adjustments, if you've ever experienced a chiropractic adjustment, you'll know that actually the chiropractic invo adjustment involves some traction. So by actually lifting up, you're actually able to distract the joint so there's no compression on the actual uh, bones themselves. So the answer is, I don't break people's necks. Um, and the guy says to me, well, didn't they teach you in, in school how to break a neck? And I thought, well, actually, no, they didn't. Where I learned to break necks is through uh, Steven Seagal. <laughs> you know, I mean, we don't fracture the bones. The noise that's occurring is a release of pressure in the joints where two bubbles will come together. It goes like that. Uh, it's little nitrogen gas bubbles inside the joint. So when you actually release the joints and stretch them such that you create motion, pop. That's the popping noise. So the patient, he was cool about it. We had a good conversation. It was it was fun, but he's like, Are, they don't teach you how to break the neck? No, they, they don't teach us how to break necks in chiropractic school. Uh, that's always, you know, bad for business type of thing. So um, yeah, so if you thought this video was interesting, give me a thumbs up. If, you, if you're giving me thumbs down, it's because you made a mistake. You wanted to hit give me a thumbs up and uh, you hit the wrong button. So you gotta get your finger over to the other side. So switch it to a thumbs up. If you have any questions about chiropractic, ask in the comment section below. Give me some ideas and I'll make some videos. Thanks for watching.